Now that we've, in the last video, defined variance and standard deviation, let's talk about how to actually calculate it and do some examples. Here's our first example. Our first step was to make this table with three columns with our data points in the first column, so that's what I have now. The next step was to find the mean, and I've actually already done that and know that the mean here is 22. So now we need to subtract 22 from everything. 16 minus 22 is negative 6. 21 minus 22 is negative 1. 22 minus 22 is 0. 23 minus 22 is 1. And then 28 minus 22 is negative 6. We then need to square all these values. It's positive 6, sorry. We then need to square all of these values. Negative 6 squared is 36. Negative 1 squared is 1, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, and 36 squared is 36. Now that we have that, our next step is to add up everything in this column. And when we do, we get 74. And I'm saying that this data belongs to a sample, so we want to calculate sample variance and sample standard deviation. Sample variance says take the number we just found and divide by the number of things we have minus one. You'll notice we have five data points here, so we need to divide by four. And this gives us, gives us our sample variance of 18.5. For standard deviation, we just need to take the square root of that. To get 4.5. 301 as our sample standard deviation. Here's another data set which I'm also going to say belongs to a sample. And in our last video we talked about how this data set and the one we did in our last example had the same range and the same mean. So we're trying to see now if our variance and standard deviation shows us that these are actually two different data sets. The mean is still 22, so we have 16 minus 22 is negative 6. 20 minus 22 is negative 2. 20 minus 22 is negative 2. 26 minus 22 is 4, and then 28 minus 22 is 6. We then square all these numbers. 36, 4, 4, 16, and 36. And then when we add this column up, we get 96. This time when we want to find our sample standard, our sample variance, once again there are five data points, so we're gonna divide by four to get that our variance is 24. Our standard deviation is then gonna be the square root of that, which gives us 4.899. So we can see that our variance and standard deviation for these two data sets was very different, and it does show us that we do actually have different data sets here. The last thing we'll talk about here is the coefficient of variation. The coefficient of variation essentially allows us to compare data sets that have different units. It's going to be a percentage that tells us exactly how much our data set varies in relation to itself. It's denoted by CV and is our standard deviation divided by the mean times 100%. Like I said, it just lets us compare different data sets to see which one has more variation. Here we have some information that a group of engineers missed an average of 8.6 days with a standard deviation of 1.7 and we're referring to days missed of work. A group of teachers missed an average of 4.3 days and their standard deviation is 2.1. So we essentially want to know which group actually varies more on their number of days missed. So we're going to do this by finding the co coefficient of variation. And I'm going to put a little e at the bottom to indicate that this is the coefficient of variation for the engineers. We take our standard deviation divided by the mean times 100%. And when we do this, 1.7 divided by 8.6, we get 
19.8% coefficient of variation. We do the teachers, so T for teachers. Our standard deviation was 2.1 and our mean was 4.3 times 100%. And this time when we work that out, we get 4, not 4 point, 48 0.8%. So the teachers, while they do miss less days on average, there is a lot more variation in their data set.